What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great, great, great day. Welcome back to Right and Jonel. Today is a how-to video. I'm going to show you this app that I've been using when I go out to complete construction projects or to complete projects with different people. So the, app, the name of the app is Raking. And with the Raking app, I'm going to show you guys how to organize stuff. So we, when it first starts, you will have uh, the different... Uh, these are the different addresses. So these are the different names of the different projects that that I had going at one time. So I started hey. I started a DOS house uh, project for you guys, but I just wanted to show you how this app works. So pretty much how this app works is when you get to the, the site, the first thing you want to do is take a picture of it. You want to push this plus sign here and then the address and stuff is going to come out. Then you're going to put your name in there. Let's just put next. Whoa. That's the address. Boom. So this is how it's going to look. It's gonna say buyer and father, uh, the address of the house, where you at, United States of America, and then you can put your end date too. So you know if you're gonna finish this project, you need to put your end date next Friday, right? But just for the sake of this, I'm gonna put mine tomorrow. But most of my day, most of the project lasts seven to 14 days. So end that project tomorrow. I didn't see this. I'm going to go with that COVID-19 uh, default. Let's push that and see what happened. All right. Now we got that. Now once that happens, we're just going to save it. Move. We're going to save that. And then from there, you'll get your date, time, whatever. You'll see that when you open up the, uh, when you get ready to send the report. So we'll talk about that later. Next, you're going to go to your work log. When you go to your work log, uh, you're going to put in what you got to do. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find out, like, say, for instance, the person who's doing this job is me, which is Rodney. Move. Next. And it's only one person, which is me. Now, let me make sure I did that right. The name of this project is, I, I messed up because I'm thinking about the full app. I don't have a full app, I had the temporary app. I mean, the uh, the, stand, the basic app. So let's just say, uh, we're gonna replace or repair the living room. That is not cool. Repair, repair the trim. That's what we're going to do. We're going to repair the trim. We only need one per person, and and one, one, you know, one person. It shouldn't take no longer than. Let's just say an hour, and the description is. Demo and repair trim. Wow. Of course, you guys know how that works. So we're going to demo and repair trim. And then you'll take pictures of that, which I can't take pictures right now because uh, my phone won't let me take pictures because we're re recording the screen. So next, you'll go to save. Cause it'll save your pictures and everything that's your first project the repair the trim then the next one you might have to go in the kitchen and when you pay for the full full version you can use all that standard stuff so we're just gonna go kitchen install kitchen faucet of course we'll go to the worker 
one worker. It shouldn't take him no longer than four to five minutes, but of course you, you gotta pay the man for an hour. Then it just install installation uh kitchen faucet. Boom, next. You good. Now you'll take a before picture. If you want to, you'll take a in between picture and then you'll take in the end. Now, we're gonna go to the camera. Once we go to the camera, you can see that you can go to the regular camera or you can hit over here on the bottom left hand side you, you, or you can go to where you can record and you can hit the button and start recording now i thought the camera wouldn't come on y'all i really didn't while i was recording because i tried to do it it wouldn't do it but let's need to hit no that so i'm gonna cancel that because we're not gonna do that now once once that happens you're gonna save and that's that you know those would be your work log. so you have your pictures for each different project each assignment and different uh, work log now they also have a feature where you can be able to add your whole team and everybody will know what they're supposed to do so you can also add notes you can add different attachments so for me i add my invoices in in those attachments and then they also let you do a survey now i do have my osha 30 so i do uh, care about safety and security and stuff like that on the site because I want to make sure everything is locked up. And so what I do is uh, we can give you an option. So if any accidents on the site, you can write that down because you need that for your OSHA uh, to write that and take pictures. And you can turn your whole report in. Uh, another thing is any scheduled delays. Sometimes there do be delays and you need to let the, uh, the customer know that there was delays because the truck, the truck was late today and you can take pictures and all the pictures are time log, so time stamp. So when you take a picture in this app, it will it will time stamp the time. So if the truck was supposed to be there at nine o'clock in the morning, you didn't show up to four in the afternoon, you take a picture, there's no if and some about it. it. It showed up at uh four o'clock in the afternoon and your guys can get started. Basically you waste the whole day, but you can cover your butt with this. Boom, another, you, you have options to see if the weather costs are like, because of course, you know, hurricane season, snow, whatever, you can put these things down so the, the client will know. Any visitors, like the inspector, or uh, unwanted guest, or the garbage truck, or the plumbers, whoever extra came on site today, you can let the client know. And then, of course, you can let them know what areas need to be worked on. If, like for me, if I see trash and stuff that need to be picked up, or if I see something that ain't right, I'm going to say something and I'm going to write it down like, hey, uh, this is a safety hazard. This trash needs to be picked up over here or this and this need to happen. Uh, you know, people need to, it, it's just whatever need to happen. If I see something wrong, I'm going to say something. And then it give you an option to say, you know, not applicable, uh, yes, no. Mostly I leave it not applicable if I need. We didn't need to re rent nothing. And if you call Rickon and talk to them, uh, they will, um, uh, uh, you know, they can make this specifically for you. They can, you know, customize I think. Now, I don't know, but you can ask them. Uh, anyone? No. So, you can also cover COVID-19 issues. And also, if you have a crew and if you pay for the, I guess, the premium app, you will have access to all the safety stuff. So you'll be able to share safety information and have safety meetings with your crew inside this app so everybody can be in compliance with, with safety rules and standards and stuff. So that's what I, I love about this app the most. So, you know, this is what we, we click. When I click the, social, uh, the COVID-19, this is what it added extra to this because usually it's just add a couple of questions. Let me give you something to drink in the chat, guys. I did, uh, did all the workers, so it's only me mostly by myself, and I practice social distancing, distant, di whatever, social distancing, 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 whatever. I can't even say this, whatever. Whatever, I can't even say it. You know what it is. Wow, what, wow. So, the, you know, they cover a lot more now 
uh, with the COVID-19. So those are things that you, these are different areas that you can address and let the person know who's in charge, a project manager or, or what, or whoever the client is. This is how I do it. And then when you get through, you can sign it. So let me see, can I find a sign one for you guys already? Let's go to this one. And I already signed this one today. So once you sign one, this is what they look like. It'll, it'll have that, the address, of course, DOS Family Goods and Services. And this is a turn I did for somebody who had a house, who bought a house. Of course, I'm going to blur that out. But these are all the things that we had to go over today. And then if I click on that, it'll go to the pictures on the little camera right here. Well, it should have went to the pictures. And then, like I told you, everything will be timestamped. Now these are not my project. These are me going to projects to give them him an update on his project. And and that's it guys. That's how it goes. And then once you sign it. This is how your report looked when you turned it in to, uh, when I turned it into the, the client. So he'll know what's going on. Because uh, he pretty much told me to go out there and see what's going on and get him an update and get him pictures. So, I mean, that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope this was useful. Uh, help you decide in apps for what you're going to do for your project management or different projects. You just don't have to use raking for construction. I mean, I, I see all kind of uses for it, not just for construction. If you're doing event planning or or different projects, you can you can definitely use your raking to do that. Um, it's all on you. Um, so I hope this thing helped you out. I hope this my review helped you guys out. And until next time, guys. Be something good. Thank you. And subscribe.